All right, guys, Mikey here for Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got a hell of a comparison video yet again for use today. And it's going to be a good one between 2011 Mr. Olympia winner Phil the Gift Heath. Or, like Mark's Max Muscle says, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Versus 2001 Mr. Olympia runner-up Jay Cutler. And guys, I know I've been making a bunch of videos on 2001 Jay Cutler. But could you blame me? This, in my opinion, was the best Jay Cutler to ever step foot on a bodybuilding stage. And I was finally to get all, I was finally able to get all the pictures for 2001. And Jay, oh my god, there are so many great matchups for Jay Cutler in 2001 to be had. So guys, let's see if the best version of Phil the Gift Heath can beat out the best version of Jay Cutler. Even though you can make an argument that 2013 was the best Phil Heath. But nonetheless, they're both unreal. So guys, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. And so without any further ado, guys, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys, the front relaxed. And I always try to start off with the front relaxed if I can. And I'm going to go with uh, Jay Cutler. I tell you, Jay Cutler might have one of the best front relaxed poses I've ever seen in 2001. Just because those abs are so deeply cut. And I know I keep saying it in all the Jay Cutler videos, how tight and deeply cut those fucking abs are, but it's amazing. He's got such a tight waist. I mean, he probably only has like a 34-inch waist here compared to Jay having like a 38-inch waist. Such a tight waist midsection, so Jay Cutler's going to get the point. I mean, Phil Heath looks great, and you guys all know if you're watching my uh, videos on Phil Heath, you know that I love Phil Heath in the front relaxed. So all in all, though, Jay Cutler's going to get the point for the front relaxed. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the crab most muscular. And look at how shallow Jay looks in this pose, though, huh, guys? He does really look shallow in this pose, especially compared to fucking Phil Heath. My God. Phil Heath's shoulders and arms are humongous. Yeah, Jay has a bigger chest. Now, imagine Phil Heath's chest look like Jay Cutler's chest. He would look so much wider. And I say it all the time, the round muscle bellies actually hurt Jay Cutler. I mean, Phil Heath, in my opinion, but I digress. All right, guys, now we got the hands class most muscular, and this was a really tough one, really tough one, but I think I'm going to go with uh, Phil Heath, just because Phil Heath has a little more detail, he has bigger arms and shoulders, um, his chest might not be as big, and his midsection might not be as tight, but all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point, plus he has crazy quads, so does Jay, but... Phil Heath looks awesome in this uh, Cans Class Most Muscular, so Phil Heath is going to get the point for the Cans Class Most Muscular. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and wow, Phil Heath actually looks pretty wide in this pose compared to Jay Cutler. I mean, he's narrow as fuck, but compared to Jay Cutler, he kind of looks a little wide here, but I'm still going to go with Jay Cutler because Jay is wider, Jay has thicker um, lats, and Jay's midsection ain't too bad, so he's got a pretty decent V-taper. Nice big old chest and great fucking quads. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point for the front lat spread. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep. And I don't know, guys, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Jay's side tricep might be a little more deeply cut, but I think Phil's side tricep might be a little bit thicker. I think Phil does have a thicker, bigger tricep than Jay Cutler does. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because Jay Cutler does have a better silhouette. But, but I think that Phil Heath has a bigger tricep, especially when they throw up the front double bicep pose, in my opinion. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. And look at Phil Heath's fucking chest. I say it all the time. From 2010 on, it looks like his chest is deflating. The left pec looks like it's just deflating. It looks horrible. And from 2011 on, it just got worse and worse and worse. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point. Jay Cutler's chest is popping so much more. His right pec is a lot bigger. His arms look great. But Jay Cutler did look a lot better in 2009 in this pose, in my opinion. But Jay Cutler's going to get the point for the side chest shot regardless. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the rear double bicep. And look at how sloppy I think Jay Cutler looks in the rear double bicep, in my opinion. He's got a decent lower back. As the years went on, his lower back got even worse, especially in the rear double bicep. And the Christmas tree looked a little bit weird in, like, 2009. So all in all, obviously, Phil Heath is going to take the rear double bicep. I mean, this is just the perfect rear double bicep pose. And in 2013, it just got better and better. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point there. 
All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh. And Phil Heath does have pretty deeply cut abs, I got to say. 2011, his midsection might have not been the tightest, but his abs were the most deeply cut in 2011. But then you look to the left, and oh my God, does Jay Cutler have fucking deeply cut abs. It's just a thing of beauty. Then he's got a nice V-taper, and you want to know why, guys? Because he's not 265 pounds, but I digress. Because he shouldn't be 265 pounds. He should be 250 at the most at 5'9". And even Jay Cutler said it in an interview that he looked the best at 245, 250. But like I said before, I digress. All right, guys. Now we got the last pose of the night, the front double bicep. And I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. I think Jay Cutler has bigger arms, even though he looks like he's holding a little bit more water in the arm department than Phil. Phil has peakier biceps, but Jay Cutler's silhouette looks a little bit better. He has a better V-taper, great fucking quads, big biceps. So all in all, Jay Cutler's going to get the last point for the front double bicep. All right, guys, let's tally up the points here because this was a fucking close one. We got Jay Cutler with five and Phil Heath with four. Jay Cutler beat Phil Heath 2011. Wow. I mean, that just goes to show you guys how good 2001 Mr. Olympia fucking Jay Cutler was, guys. He beat 2011 Phil Heath. And if you wanted to make an argument, you could have gave Jay Cutler the side tricep pose, if anything. <laughs> if anything, you could have gave Jay Cutler the side tricep and it would have been six to three Jay Cutler. But I digress. So, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you did. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.